Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to create a MySQL database in cPanel. Now I would like to stress that this will not work for Minecraft servers. I will be doing a different tutorial for making MySQL databases to use with Minecraft plugins. But I'm going to show you how to do this in cPanel. Now the reason you're going to want to do this is most website scripts require you to have a MySQL database such as WordPress, uh, PHP BB, and other things like that. So getting right into it, you're going to want to log into your cPanel and go to your databases. Click on MySQL databases and you're going to want to create both a user and a database. So first we're going to want to create a new user. So you're going to have your username which is going to be whatever your prefix is and then whatever you're going to want it to be. So I'm just going to call this tut user for the tutorial I'm doing and then you're going to want to give your password I mean you're going to want to give your user a password and make sure you remember this so I'm going to give mine a password and that may require capitals and numbers it's all depending on your host and then create the user and then it says you've added the user your prefix and then tut user or whatever you named it with whatever your password is and then you can go back and then you're going to want to create your database, so I'm just going to call mine tut for the purpose of this tutorial. Obviously call it whatever you want, and then you're going to want to create your database. And then it says you've added the database tut. So then you can go back, and this is the important part that most people forget to do is combining it. So I'm going to want to assign my user tut user to my database tut, just like that. Add, and then I'm going to want to give it all the privileges and then make the changes and then the user tut user has been added to the database tech hut tut so now whenever you're installing a script or you're doing something with it with databases the host is usually just local host unless if your hosting company says something otherwise your user is going to be your tut user or whatever you name it and your database is going to be tut and your password is going to be whatever you put in for your password so that is about it. I hope you have a great day. I hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and goodbye.